This was the situation at Ninglanville. It was chaotic and rowdy. People scrambled their way to the Ministry of Basic and Senior Secondary Education in Freetown to vent their frustration over the challenges in securing national identification number, which is now a prerequisite for pupils to register for all public exams in the country. Pupils described the process as time-consuming and traumatic, as most of them queue for hours every day in the past days but still could not have headway. Pass over 200, that they just got 16 lists, they don't so good, and they can't sleep with you, they start to fresh. My name is Mr. Constoman, I didn't sleep, Seth, I began to remember we are the students. I don't sleep, 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 from last week, where they go on that? All day, all night, they 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 some of them they sleep. Where they go, you know they get, they are so police, they beat through their back, so they they push me. They understand all day, all night, all day. This one whole week, I go on that, but I know you get registration. Today, I go there, my house, my house, my house, my house, my house, my house, my house. Most people alleged that anchor officers were collecting money from them and that preference was given to pupils from private schools. In response, the Director General, National Civil Registration Authority, ANCRA, Mohamed Masakoi said, they have stopped all registration process until further notice as they are thinking of introducing another method to give out identification numbers to the pupils. They do the issuance of the NIN to, to these exams candidates sometimes in November. Between now and November, we should have been able, us as stakeholders, organize the manner in which the student, the pupils or the candidates will attend it to. Deputy Secretary. Minister of Basic and Senior Secondary Education, Aminata Sano said they will have an engagement with ANCRA and by Friday.